I got arrested for DWI not too long ago. Yeah. That's bad news. It wasn't all bad though. See, I, the good news is I'm not going to be charged. I do a 0, 0.00. That's good news, right? The officer's about to perplex. Is this poor little lady here? Is it Mr. Crawford? I saw you walk through, stumble across the parking lot. You got keys weaved up the road and such time to pull you over. Well, y'all yeah, don't see that's true. Uh, see, that's because I was going what you call your, your designated decoy. Yeah, that was me. So while uh, you were busy watching me, while 13 of my drunkest friends were making their smooth getaway. Well, even right now as we talk, officer, there's 13 drunks going in every direction all around the Metroplex. I tell you, he didn't think it was funny as I did. He got his panties all in a wall like the up guy with some big issue or something. It really is, huh? I seem to get pulled over all the time. I was headed north on Central at 6.30 in the evening. I mean, I could do a lot better. Uh, 6.30 in the evening, I was pulled me over. Mr. Roper, you know why I pulled you over? I said, well, yeah, I was driving a little fast. I pulled you over because you crossed the solid yellow line in the fast lane. Oh, oh, you thought I was drunk. No, no, I'm on my way. <laughs> so go get drunk. You're way early. Oh, what say you come back about, oh, I don't know, midnight 30 to 1 o'clock in the South Valley? But I'm on the way home. <laughs> oh, and then even more recently, Mr. Robert, can you tell me why you ran a stop sign? Well, yeah, it's because I'm going green. What does going green have to do with running a stop sign? Stop. We're saving gas. Reducing my CO2 footprint, officer. Oh, so green runs stop sign. Well, then you're going to love this ticket, Mr. Roper. Why is that? Well, because it's printed on recycled paper. Oh, that wasn't good. These folks on Family Feud, I'll tell you what, they're not the brightest lights in the harbor right there. I think they should rename the family names. Over here we have the idiot family taking on the dumbasses. Name an animal that doesn't eat meat. Uh, cat, Richard. I'll go with a cat. Really? That's good news for mice everywhere, isn't it? Damn, dude, what do you think those fangs and the claws are lying for? Does he look like a vegetarian to you? Now, anything that goes raw does not eat leaves. Name an excuse a man would give if he's not in the mood. Uh, Richard, I'll go with, uh, I'm sore. <laughs> Those words will never come out of my mouth under any circumstance. Name something you can learn by watching Oprah. Finance. Are you serious? What is Oprah possibly going to teach me about finance? At start your own talk show and make a billion dollars? Gee, I think we've already seen that. But my favorite thing on the Family Feud was name something that you'd be surprised to find out that your friend has not done in five years. I'm brainstorming what, go to church, work out. No, one of the correct answers was bathe or shower. <laughs> bathe or shower in five years? Dude, I've got to be honest with you. If your friend hasn't bathed or showered in five years, why, that's not going to come as a surprise for me to find that out now, is it? You probably knew that, what, four years and 362 days ago? He probably ceased to be a friend for that very reason. Hey, bro, who are you inviting to the big party this weekend? Everyone except Pink Pen. He will run everybody off. And I just have one parting thought for you folks. I was uh, surfing the internet not too long ago. I came across uh, Bill Bilicek, Bilicek, the head coach for the New England Patsies, or Patriots, whatever the hell you call them. Apparently, he's now involved in a sex tape scandal. Bill Bilicek, sex tape scandal. My first thought was, who the hell wants to see him naked? But more importantly, does this man have to videotape everything? <laughs> Holy cow, that's my time, Dolly Gray. Thanks so much for coming out. My name's Rose.